Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with Sonata Arctica, Cold, a request by Helga. Thank you so much for this request. I'm looking forward to this one. Cold, this is the official video. Let's have a listen and a watch with our eyes and uh, listen with our ears. You know, So much for the biology lesson there, guys. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Standing with my back against the wall. Oh. Standing with my back against the wall. It's cold. My man standing with it back against the wall, which, you know, could be a bad thing. But sometimes for me personally, I got to be honest, I, I prefer it. Nobody can stab me in it. And there's only one way to go. I got a good overview. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Yo, for real though. But man, yeah, he's like talking about. You know, the fire-breathing dragon that he's nursed by his side is turning cold. That could be uh, things that used to ignite your passion. Cause this is a, like a newer song uh, based on uh, his different hair and a little bit of, you know, I got some of this too. Uh, <laughs> you know, it could be, you know, the inspiration for music or, or anything else in life really that we used to, you know, get hyped for. Uh, doesn't really do it for us anymore. Uh, why can't this make me warm on a winter's night? Like the things that used to bring us comfort, maybe don't really do it anymore. So I'm dancing with my back against the wall. You know, you could apply that to so many uh, situations in life. So that's the the greatness uh, of uh, of Sonata Arctica, where you can really filter it through your own experiences. You know, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, a different sound, and people have been telling me about some some fans prefer the older stuff, and 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 not the newer stuff, which is fine, of course, but it's not uncommon, um, which is very interesting. I mean, in not only I mean not uncommon with artists. There's so many artists that I'm a fan of, and also that I've discovered through this channel that you see the same pattern. And I do wonder uh, if that sometimes is a reason just we were younger when we listened to it and we more miss that feeling of nostalgia and the feeling that it used to give us. And if it's more on us than the artist, it's what I'm, I have experienced with artists that I'm more familiar with. So, and that I can more speak on that. I think, Hmm, these people didn't really change in skill. In fact, they got better, but people seem to like the old stuff better, maybe because they could relate to it more in terms of struggle. Now the artist got rich and they don't relate to that. Or it just gave them a feeling 20 years ago that they're not experiencing now and they want to go back to that. So just a thought exercise there. Um, of course, I don't know enough about their music to, to make a good judgment about it. But hey, I like this stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, my, your heart's gone cold, people. Nah, man, I'm just joking. You know me now. You know me by now. I'll make it. Their return to power metal. Okay. You know, I, 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 people gave me the advice just don't try to classify the genre, but that's a good advice because I really don't really care. <laughs> I mean, it's more of a marketing thing, you know. If, you know, with books, it's always the same, but it has. You know, when, when certain songs can have different influence from different genres, it's hard to start to classify them because you feel like you're doing a disservice to your song when you put them in a box. Uh, and to your books when you put them in a box. You know, I don't like that for myself so I can understand it. Uh, with other artists, maybe they feel the same because they want to branch out and do different things and still keep their type of sound. But then, like, here's a different tempo, right? Uh, I would call it a power ballad. I don't know. Is that a thing? I really enjoyed it, man. When the memory has a face no more and the days are getting longer, like the poetic uh, lines are, are still there, are here, man. I like it. When all the words unspoken die away. Ooh. That's one to think about. That's one to think about. And I will. Even after I stop recording, I, I sometimes do, you know, it just as a thought exercise. They give me a lot of uh, things to think about, uh, which I can then, in turn, those thoughts into my own uh, writing. And uh, so now that I argue, no joke, I wouldn't be saying if it wasn't true. They really gave me a lot of, like, inspiration to pick up the pen, not in terms of ideas, but just in terms of motivation, right? To, to to want to write similar emotion. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm a fan. Uh, up to, you know, all the stuff. And I like a slower pace sometimes to give me time to breathe. <laughs> so I like when, uh, when artists give us different type of sounds uh, 
And uh, yeah, just flex their uh, creative muscles. I like that a lot. Why can't you make me warm on winter's nights, guys? Maybe your heart is stone cold gold inside. <sighs> hey, come on. That's great. I like it. Uh, looking forward to more. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for the request once again. And have a great day. Peace.